Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So we are continuing on the web client playlist. So we have did a get call build, uh, sorry, builder, sorry, what is that? Uh, pathway variable. Then we went on to the query parameters. In this video, we are going to see how we can make the post call with the help of web client. Okay. So, um, as you know post is nothing but http not an idempotent one because every time you call this one it is going to create a new resource on the server okay so uh, i have this endpoint here where you have login as well as registration details but i have already created an account okay so let me show you that one here so this is the one I have already created an account. What is that? This is my request. And if you see, this is my response and this is the post call. Okay. Uh, so how can we implement this with the help of web client that we are going to see guys. So let me show every detail here in the notepad plus plus. Okay. So the first one is the endpoint method as you know is a post and this is an important one request. Okay. How we can form the request. This is the important one and how we can get the response. Okay. Since it is going to be the synchronous one, even though web client can support synchronous and asynchronous, we are going to block that asynchronous nature and use the synchronous one. Okay. And I am going to use a mono because I am using the synchronous one. The response will come only once or it won't come. Okay. So let's get started here. Let me take post mapping. Okay. Let's say like uh, login because I am doing for the login one, right? So let me go to the login here. Login user. As of now, let me take this void login user details. Okay. Let's use web client directly. Web client dot here we have the create and you could see there were two methods. That means it is a overloaded one. Okay. I'm going to use a base URL. Okay. So let me get the base URL from here. So let me take something like base URL. This one I will pass as part of this then it is going to be the post one okay then what are the other things it is going to accept accept that means what sort of data it needs to accept media type dot let me give application json here and this is going to accept this sort of data and let me give content type as well same this is normal straightforward okay then here comes the actual part so i need to send the body right so i have this body body is nothing but this part this request part right so i need to send this as a body okay and I am going to send only once. So I'm going to use mono dot just and you could see there are two things here. Either you're going to send that 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 you know body or you are going to send the empty one likewise. Okay. So I'm going to send the body here. Okay. And now now the best part is this part I need to send right. So I'll prepare a POJO for this. For that purpose I have already prepared a POJO. 
this is my pojo login request i am using activate data so that itself will take in care by the setters and getters with the help of lombok so simply use that part okay so um, this is the login request right so wait a minute before getting into this mine is a post mapping login user so for this i will send user id and password as a request body that i will translate into this one okay into this method okay so here what i will do is i will take request body as this part and login request okay now mono dot just of request so whatever the request i am sending in my end point in this end point i am passing here and i am telling the web client that this request is of this class okay this is a crucial part guys okay once you have this simply you retrieve it then retrieve body to mono as of now let me take this as a string dot class okay then i am going to block the asynchronous nature then this everything as string response then let me return this response okay let me return this response right let me save this guy and run as a spring boot application it is started running now simply go here take this guy login user so local host login user and as part of my body i am sending this pojo right if i send this pojo i need to get this response now you could see i have hit the data and okay method not allowed okay okay let's see okay okay this is not the get this is a post one now you could see we got the data properly right this everything so we have got the data properly understood right this is cool okay but the only thing here is only thing here is we are getting this response right we are getting this response as a string instead of getting this as a complete pojo something like this okay so what i will do is i will map that response to the pojo so let's go to this package and create a um, authentication response other login details login details response like this okay so what i have i have code and i have message right so here private long code let me use that let's see private message private string message you might be wondering where these are coming from this fields guys okay now this is my data right so login details response it so private let me keep as private login response login is something like this as data this part okay and i am going to create this class okay i will say i can create they only are here not everything is fine this part i will create okay so before that did i take in the lombok one no right so let me import the lombok data 
then go to the login response and what we have we have id as long so private long id okay 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 now if you see this naming format is not so good right so i will take this and here i will use json property likewise as this id this is good now because the naming format if you see i is cap n is cap which should not be right we have to follow the camel in case format right so private string name and email private string email and token okay private string token now i will use this json property so that to map with actual fields in the api this should be token this should be email with e caps <coughs> name with end caps okay and let me take data here okay so that i will have setters and getters this is done good now go to this guy okay instead of string dot class what i need to show i need to show login details response right login details response dot class type that is nothing but response and i have the login details response okay now let me try to run this guy that means i have mapped my response to the json here i mean json pojo here let's see so whatever the response i have i have mapped into this pojo this will come as a response i mean it comes as a pojo for me yeah sorry for that uh, 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 uh. now this is the one should come properly now you could see we have got properly right so it is worked properly let me explain one more time simply create as you have seen in other videos of mine i have created this one till here then with the help of post i need to because post method should have the body right and you cannot pass it as part of you know as a as a query not query parameters we should always pass it as a body right so that it will be more secured okay so i have passing this body here i am using mono because i am only going to send once and just means i mean that method mono dot just i am only going to send once and what is the request request is coming from here and this request of this class type that is what i am trying to show here and simply doing the retrieve method this is the common and the response i am converting into the body body to the mono because either the response will come once or it won't come okay and previously we have converted that to the string format now we have convert we have now directly you know uh type casting into the uh, pojo here and i'm you know asynchronous nature i'm blocking it that's it and this pojo i'm returning directly okay so uh this is clear i believe okay now you could see some sort of response we will get so it is not breaking here okay so yeah that's a part of this video guys hope you guys liked it thank you so much for watching thank